SSM2 is a portable skate sharpening machine. Lift out the machine and place it on a firm, flat surface. Make sure that you have plenty of working space. Check that the grinding wheel turns freely, doesn't catch on the diamonds. If necessary, adjust the diamonds by moving them away from the grinding wheel. Turn the flat grinding diamond directly and use the adjustment screw to adjust the hollow grinding diamond. Make sure that the blade's support roller is not touching the grinding wheel before starting the machine. It should be as close to the grinding wheel as possible without actually touching it. Adjust the distance by loosening the nut. Gently tap the holder until the support roller is in the right position and then tighten the nut again. Check the grinding wheel for any visible damage. Mount the skate in the holder. We've used the universal holder H10. Make sure that the skate blade is resting on the support roller throughout the sharpening process and doesn't touch the extractor tube. Plug in the mains. The SSM2 is available in both 110-120V and 220-240V versions. Use protective goggles, a protective breathing mask, and ear protection when using this machine. You can hollow grind skates for ice hockey and figure skating, and flat grind bandy skates and long distance skates. On delivery, the hollow grinder is set at 20 millimeters. The usable limits are 8 to 38 millimeters. You can alter the depth of the hollow by screwing the diamond in or out to the right position. Measure from the top of the pivot device arm to the underside of the head of the diamond screw. Then move the pivot device up and down while you feed it inwards using the adjustment screw in small increments. Dress with smooth movements to avoid damaging the wheel or the diamond. Move the skate backwards and forwards a few times against the wheel. Remove the skate and turn it around. Push gently against the grinding wheel so that you can see a small grind mark. If this mark is inside the hollow, the support roller is set correctly. If it covers the lower part of the blade, the blade support roller should be lowered. Similarly, the support roller should be raised if the mark covers the top part of the blade. The reason you might need to change the position of the blade support roller is that the thickness of skate blades can vary. To sharpen bandy skates and long distance skates, Screw the diamond in, in small increments while you move the flat surface device up and down. The last movement should result in grinding. Grind gently. The flat surface device normally does not need to be adjusted, but this can be done by loosening the lock screw and adjusting the angle with the adjustment screw using an Allen key. You get the correct angle by sharpening a skate, then turning it in the holder and making a small mark on the blade. If the mark looks like this, the angle is incorrect. Adjust it and try again until the mark looks straight. You're now ready to start sharpening. Check the blade for damage. Manually grind smooth any major damage with a whetstone. Fasten the skate in the holder. Keep the blade oriented along a straight line. Move the blade forwards and backwards. Start the sharpening motion in the air before making contact with the grinding wheel as smoothly as possible. Then complete the motion a bit beyond contact with the grinding wheel before turning around and going through the same continuous motion in the opposite direction, or grind only in the direction that feels best. When all damage and wear has been removed, grind the entire blade slowly and in one continuous motion, including the rounded ends. Use only a very light pressure to achieve a highly polished finish. Sharpen figure skates from around one centimeter from the start of the serrations to toe picks. A few strokes with a whetstone will remove any burrs. SSM product, when skate sharpening matters.